I feel that we all are aware of the extent to which large corporations have become dominant in political and lobbying processes. But it is not yet accepted as common knowledge that today their efforts have been successful. I was inspired to write Citizens Disunited in large measure because of the Supreme Court decision in Citizens United. And that decision made it clear that corporate corporations were now free to expend whatever funds they saw desirable in order to influence the elections and the lobbying and the administration of laws. That decision has removed any hesitation or doubt that chief executive officers might have had about the use of corporate funds in the American political process. This has closed the loop and it has made it possible for the CEO of a corporation to dominate the rules under which they're supposed to be regulated by government as well as the conduct of the corporation through their domination of the governance system. In the corporate context, the important election is that of directors. And the mechanism that has been developed through the SEC, among others, results in there being one slate of nominees for the board. And this slate has the same number of vacancies as there are uh, to be filled. The result is that the ballot that is sent out to every st stockholder has only the number of names on it as are needed to fill the existing vacancies. So th the power is in the hands of the person who nominates the directors. This power has traditionally been held by the CEO and it can fairly be said that no one is nominated for the board with the CEO's disapproval. This means that people want to stay on boards. They don't want to um, act in such a way that they would become unclubbable. And so the CEO has as a practical matter the power to control what the board does. That being the case, the CEO has the power over the budget. He has the power to hire lobbyists. He has the power to determine electoral strategy. And uh, therefore, you now have a unaccountable power. Uh, the CEO's power is not accountable really to anybody. First, I'm trying to, to be very clear. Government has been captured by big business. It's not a matter of maybe if we do a few things right, it won't happen. It's happened. And secondly, I'm trying to make clear that there are leadership groups in our society, like universities and foundations, who could materially change this situation. And that it is incumbent on them to do so because there isn't anybody else who really can address it as effectively.